you all must have seen the video wherein I had told you how to multiply with 11. I think it was very simple. We'll be now doing in this part seven of the Vedic mathematics videos that how can we multiply not only with 11, but with 111 or with 1111 and so on. So are you all ready with your pen and paper? Ensure that you keep on practicing with me. I told you earlier also, the more you're going to write and do, the more you'll practice, the more the Vedic mathematics is going to be fascinating for you. There is so much to be done. There is so much to be learned. Ensure that you keep on learning, keep on practicing, and keep on surprising yourself and your friends. So let's get ready for this. Multiplication by 111 or by 1111 or by 11111 and so on. First, let us just recall what how did we multiply with 11? It was a very simple procedure. Supposing if I wanted to multiply 54 uh, with 11, what did I do? So I took 54, 54 has two digits, five and four. They were written and in between five and four, I wrote the sum of five and four, that is nine. So I got my answer at 54 into 11 is 594. So this was the answer, right? Now, just understand that I'll be taking this method only forward to make you learn the multiplication 111 or with 1111 or with any number of ones. If you're having a number, having just ones, any number of ones, you can multiply it with this trick. So what is the method? 11, when you're multiplying by 11, how many digits does 11 have? How many ones does it have? It has two digits, right? So whenever there are two digits, we are multiplying by 11, there are two ones. If you are multiplying by 111, how many digits would have there been? There would have been three digits. If by 1111, it would have been four digits. So let us take up this when we are multiplying by 11 and I'm having two digits. Whenever I'm having two digits, we will take two minus one. Jitne bhi digits hai, whatever is the number of digits over here, one less than that, that means two minus one, one zero we will take and we will put them on both the sides of this 54. We'll sandwich this number in the two side zeros, right? So what do we have? 54 I had, I will put a zero on the left and I will put a zero on the right. Now, because there are two digits, so what, I going, what I'll do, I'll be taking the numbers two at a time, right? So two at a time means what? Four plus zero, I'll add it. What do you get? We get it equal to four. Then I'll take five plus four. What is that? It is equal to nine. And then I'll take zero plus five. That is equal to five. So 594. This is the concept. This is actually the method. This was a trick, but the method lies here. The rule lies here that you're taking because it's multiplied by 11, two digits. So one zero this side, one zero this side. And you are taking two numbers at a time. Four plus zero is four. Five plus four is nine. And zero plus five is five. So I get my answer is 594, right? So I hope it's justified that how did you multiply by 11? The same thing to be taken up further when we are multiplying with 111. So let us understand. If I'm multiplying, let's say 625 by 111. So how many digits are there in this 111? There are three ones. So I'll just take and I'll consider that there are three ones or there are three digits. So if there are three digits, how many zeros must I put? Three digits means that I need to put three minus one, that is two zeros. I will sandwich this 625 with two zeros on the left and two zeros on the right. So the sandwich method, please understand. 625, you put two zeros on the left and two zeros on the right. Now, because there are three digits here, so what will we do? We will take, add them in groups of three. So adding them in groups of three means I will take, I'll, let's start from the left-hand side, zero, zero, five, first three digits. So I'll take them and I'll add them. My answer comes out to be five. So this becomes my first digit of the number of my answer. Next three digits will be what? Next three digits are going to be zero, five, and two. So I'll take them. 0, 5, and 2, answer comes out to be 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So I get my second digit of the answer, that is 7. 
Next, I'll take the third set of the three digits. So the third set is five, two, and six. So I'll add them up. Five plus two is seven, seven and six is 13. So 13 will give me the digit of the third digit of my number. It's units digit, all right? Next is what? The fourth set of three numbers I'll take. First set gave me five. Second set gave me seven. Third set gave me 13. Let me take the fourth set now. Fourth set, again, I'll put a yellow oval. I'll put. So two and six is eight. Eight and zero is eight. So I'll get my digit as eight. I'll add up that one of 13. I'll be adding it to it. But yes, this eight will be giving me the next digit of my number. The last digit I'm left with. So I'll take the last set of three digits. Z6 plus zero plus zero is how much? Six. So I get the answer as six over here. So what is my final answer going to be? The final answer of 625 multiplied by 111 will be what? It will be five comes out here, then seven. Then from this 13, I will take this three here and this one is going to be added to eight. So eight plus one comes out to be nine. And here I am having six. So my answer for 625 multiplied by 111 is how much? It is 69,375. Wasn't it not very difficult? It was quite simple, I must say. Multiplying by 111 without any major calculation work, I think it is quite simple. Okay, do you want to try, it, try out one more question? Uh, let's take one more question. Supposing I want to take um, 563 multiplied by 111, right? So let us try to do it. 563, how many digits are there in 111? There are three digits. All right, three digits means how many zeros must I use for my sandwich? I'll be using two zeros. So I'll put two zeros here and I will put two zeros here, right? Now, once I've got two zeros, how many groups of how many I must take? Three digits. So I'll be taking groups of three. So first group comes out to be this 300. So my first digit is three. Next is zero, six, and three. Okay. So zero, six, and three is nine. So that becomes my second digit. Then I have this one, five, six, and three. Five, six, and three means five and six is 11. 11 and three is 14. I get 14 over here. Next I have what? I'll have this. 6, 5, and 0, which is equal to 11. So I'll get 11 over here. Next, I'll have what? I will take this 5, 0, and 0, the last one, which is going to be equal to 5. So what is my answer going to be? My answer will be 3, 9, 14. Ka. I'll take 4 over here. 1 carry forward. 11 plus 1 is 12. So I'll take 2 here, carry forward 1. And I have 6 here. So 6, 2, 4, 9, 3 is the answer when I multiply. 563 by 111. You can check the calculators. It's going to come correct. So I hope this method is now clear to you. Now let us multiply with 1111. So can you guess what all are we going to do? I have to take a number, any number I can take, 768, let's say if I've taken, and I'm multiplying it 1111. So 1111 has how many digits? How many ones? There are four digits. Four ones, that means, right? So four digits means that how many zeros will I use, use for my sandwich? I'll be using four minus one, that is three digits, three zeros I'll use for 768, three zeros on the left side and three zeros on the right side, right? So I get 768, three zeros on the left and three zeros on the right. Sandwich ready? Now, next what? I will take, I will start adding them in groups of how many? I'll start adding them in groups of four. So that, let's start doing it, then add them in groups of four. So my first group is what? My first group is eight, zero, zero, zero. My first four numbers, that is eight, zero, zero, zero. So I add them, answer comes out to be eight. So that is my first digit, right? Next, next is what? Zero, zero, eight, six. Second group, so that is 14. I add them to get the answer as 14. Next is going to be 0, 8, 6, 7. So 8 and 6 is 14. 14 and 7 is 21, right? 21 is the next set of additions. Then I'll take 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 0. So 
that is going to be how much? 8 and 6 is 14, 14 and 7, 21. Again, I'll get the answer as 21. Next, you have 6 and 7, then 0 and 0, that means 13. This is the next set of numbers, so that is 13. And finally, you have 7, 0, 0, 0. Last four digits taken together to give me the sum as 7. So this is what is going to give me the answer. How do I get the answer? Let me write the answer. 8 taken as it is from 14, I will take this 4. And this one is going to be carried forward to 21. When I take this one this side, 21 plus 1 is 22. So what do I get? I get my next digit as 2. And again, this 2 is carried forward over here. So when I carry forward this 2 over here, so 21 plus 2 is 23. So I will take this 3 over here. And this 2 gets carried forward here. So 13 and 2 is 15. 15, I will say write 5 over here. And this 1 gets carried over to 7, right? Now 7 and 1 is 8, and that is the last digit of my number. So 768 multiplied by 1111 is equal to 853248, and that is my answer. So wasn't it easy? Keep on multiplying, keep on practicing. The more you practice, I every time I tell you, Vedic mathematics, Vedic tricks is nothing more than practice. You learn the trick, you don't practice it, you will forget it, you will not be able to use it. But if you learn a trick and you keep on practicing it, you will never forget it, you'll keep on surprising your friends. And I'm telling you that this is going to happen. So ensure that whatever you learn, Keep on practicing it as much as you can. It will always be helpful. Okay? So happy learning. Enjoy your Vedic mathematics tricks and keep on practicing. Thank you.